Today on Daryl Miller Live is the Minister of National Security, the FNM's candidate in Mount Moriah, the Honorable Tommy Turncrest. Minister, welcome to the show. Uh, Daryl, thank you. It's wonderful to be here and for the very first time and I'm happy that you're back uh, doing live talk radio. It's good to be here with you and thank you for inviting me uh, to be your guest. It is such a pleasure to have you, Minister. Let's start with being down. Do you blame the PLP for what happened in being down on the Prime Minister's tour? Oh, absolutely. Firstly, it was clear that in the political season, we ought not to have confrontation between political parties. That these events uh, can be well known, but uh, we, we advise FNMs to stay away in their party paraphernalia and colors uh, and large crowds away from PLP events. And I would have thought that PLPs would stay away from FNM events. The Prime Minister announced and decided that he was going to for a walkabout in Baintown. And it really was a walkabout, driveabout. Started at Southern Recreation Ground, there were going to be uh, four stops in which he would get out, walk, walk about, walk about a, a little bit, meet and greet persons. On, on several of the parks, he would stop and talk, and there would be activity on those parks. When we left Southern Recreation Ground, this the, is Wednesday. This is when, Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. And the Prime Minister was driving. Um, in the front passenger seat was the FNM candidate. So the Prime John, Minister was driving himself. The Prime Minister was driving himself in, uh, in the Jeep. Uh, he, in the front passenger seat was the FNM candidate, John Bostwick. In the back seat, was the uh, four, four, four reporters actually. I was surprised because it was a little tight for them. Uh, there were four reporters. And then it was one of these Explorer Jeep truck types and on the back were two, cam two or three cameramen, uh, photographers and, and cameramen. He was right behind a large truck with, with, with music and persons on the truck. And then there were lots of persons walking. Uh, in the motorcade, and then there were lots of cars behind the Prime Minister. As I walked along Market Street, and this is now the one way... So they are driving and you are walking? Yeah, I, I got okay. there. I, I, at, this, at this point I was walking. Okay. And the Prime Minister said that um, we may have to change the route because um, the PLPs have gone to the park on Hospital Lane. Hospital Lane or Meadow Street? Hospital Lane. The park on Hospital Lane okay. and Cambridge Lane. Okay. And so I continued to walk along Market Street. I was then approached by Superintendent Greenslade, who said to me that they. Oh, Commissioner. No, no, the, oh. this is a super, superintendent. Superintendent. Okay. Uh, superintendent Greenslade, uh, who, who said to me that he wondered if. I would talk to the leaders of the PLP group. <clears throat> the police had spoken to them, but they weren't prepared to move. Um, that Dr. B.J. Nordage was there, and would, would I talk to them and see if they would move, that they wanted to avoid what could potentially be a very explosive situation. Guardian Radio 96.9, Tommy Turnquest is gone, and in the hot seat is Randy Butler, who is the president and CEO of Sky Bahamas, Captain Randy Butler. Boy, Mr. Butler, we remember you as a little boy coming around the uh, yard at ZNS, just, just looking at these different gadgets and, 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 and wanting to, from then, be entrepreneurial and and make a difference in our country. Here you are today, standing a pretty good chance 
of at least getting your deposit back <laughs> as a DNA candidate <laughs> in North Andros and the Berries, but more importantly, you're making a big impact and you could win that seat. Yeah, yeah. man, preach that. That's, that'll preach. That'll preach. <laughs> We saw you in, in Andros um, at the birthday celebration for Alfonso Smith, a long-serving local government councillor in North Andros. You were there to help him celebrate. Yes, sir. He's a good Bahamian, good Androsian. What are your chances in North Andros and the Berries, realistically now? You're going against... Desmond Bannister on the FNM and Dr. Perry Gomez of the PLP. That is not an easy fight. Politics, politicians make the laws of how we govern. If you want to change culture and the way we live, it's to change the law. If you look around, things are not good. Some of the laws that we have and some of the things that are happening are not addressing the issues. So you need somebody in there to understand that who will go and fight and be a part of changing the law to help with a better way for us to live. Politicians I, also set policy and spend taxpayers' money. Yes, but you need to have accountability with that. So that's one of the things about having law. Right now, you see a lot of things that happen, there don't seem to be accountability. And that's one of the things why the DNA is talking about some of the reforms in terms of even the powers of the Prime Minister's office, that there is some accountability. That's why you see... We What's push. wrong with the Prime Minister's powers? Well, some of it, you know, as I continue to understand it, when you have the Prime Minister's office, and I've heard you on your show talk about some of these things and others, when you have that the Prime Minister's office seem to have almost absolute power, in terms of it points to who the Governor General is, Chief Justice, uh, the... A uh, lot of the commissions and a lot of stuff is on if not with his consent. Is you wouldn't want someone else appointing the governor general other than the prime minister or well, recommending that appointment. Well, I think I think there should be other people in, in involved with that too. Who? Uh, well, the governor general is a ceremonial type thing, although it's function to that. But in terms of governance and running the country on a day to day basis, and not just a ceremonial thing, uh, we want. For example, if you have in the country, if I'm if I'm going to court, okay, against something that the prime minister may have done, or do, and I have to go to sit before a chief justice that would have been a candidate for that current government in a past election, how do you think I feel or the appearance of where I'm going to get justice?